about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. And now the shortstop, Jerome Ratto. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Swings and sends a rocket to right. And Acuna able to make the grab. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. The pitch. On the ground to the left. And he's safe at first. Some strange defense there. Here's Orlando Arcia. Harris gets his lead at first with nobody out. Rolled a short, could be two. Ratto, one at second, and that's two. Got what he was looking for on the mound right there in his infield. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. Bounced out to short. Whips it across. That's the third out. Braves go down quickly here, and we're still knotted at zero. Now battle, the short shot. Juro, Reddo. Now fly ball to right center. Acuna sizes this one up. Makes the grab two way down. Hey, one time, right now. Here we go. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. To second, pulls him off the bag. The center field. As soon as that one shot off his barrel, he was thinking extra bases. Really nice job of getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. One gone runner at first. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Jerome Ratto. One for three. And that's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Matt Olson up to the plate. Comes a 2-2. And this one could be extra bases. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now there are several ways that they can get this run across. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals, Jerome Ratto. Come on, sit on something right here. Let him fly. And fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Hard ground ball, base knock. Runner around third. Here comes the throw. He will score, and the Nats take the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Didn't try to do too much with it, just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of...
close one here today and your final 5-4. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shami. We'll see you soon. Five runs, 12 runs, no errors. They left 15 runners on day. For the Nationals, four runs on 11 hits, no errors. They left 15 Jerome Ratto digging in for the Nationals. The shortstop. Jerome In the air, center field. Harris has a beat on it. Squeezes it. Runner tagging for third. Safe. He beats it. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go. The batter. The shortstop. Jerome. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Fletcher moves under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Ground ball to first, could be two. Can't glove it cleanly, over to Arcia. No, That's one. Safe. Well, that was clearly a double play ball, but the bobble unfortunately prevented. Jerome Ratto, the next to hit. Ripped on a line. And Acuna yeah. able to make the grab. Hey, we got one, one out, base is empty. Now in for the Braves, David Fletcher. Out to short, Ratto. Sends it to first, Fletcher retire. And the batter will now be the shortstop, short Jerome stop. Ratto. Jerome Ratto. Slides, but it gets by him. In comes the runner from third, and now it's 12 to seven. Waste no time there. Smash that one through the infield. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed him over the top to win the series. Next to hit for the Nats, Jerome Ratto. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about... Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. A gigantic blast. His seventh home run of the season. And they add to the lead. It's 4-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter. Getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here.
two outs, that runner at first. Out. And the, the batter is George Springer. Springer. You have to be careful throwing him breaking Springer. pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. The Nationals leading by four here at the top of the second. Up the middle, Ratto. They get the force, and that'll do it. So no runs on two hits, no errors, and one left on base. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Nationals four, and the Mariners nothing. Come on, big guy, one time. There you go. Now bad at it. Not, sure. not, not the easiest thing sure. when you're talking about a guy that's, Ready. you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. On a line out towards center. Rodriguez makes the play, and that is the third out of the inning. Two men left. Ty France, now, the that's next that's to hit. The designated hit. Hey, no else, no. Ty France. Lopez, the board here at first with nobody out. On the ground right side, four, six, out. three, out. and they turn the double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key. So two down, Mitch Garver up to hit here. Bounced out to short. Tosses across the first, and that is that. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. And midway in. Hey, drive that pitch. Oh, here we go. Now batting. Now batting. Ratto Ratto measures five feet, eight inches, just 19 Ratto. years old. And he's a former rookie of the year. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Three. Here's Dylan Moore. Now batting. Third base. Dylan Moore. Soft contact right here. One down, base is empty. Out to short. Oh, look at the stop. From his backside. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The effort from both players involved in this play just... We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the DH. Ty France. Swing and a ground ball out to short. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver. No outs, runner at first. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jerome Ratto. Hey, Got to be driving. careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Homer, his second home run of the game, and they add a pair. It's 10 7. He sent the first pitch over the wall. Must have dinner reservations because he wasn't wasting any time at the plate in that at bat. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. So one out, nobody on. Luke Rayleigh getting ready to hit. Out to short, Ratto tosses to first, and he's out. Couple of pitches and a quick out. The white right field, number four. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. This is your moment. Go get him. And a pitch. Out to short, Ratto slings to first. They don't come any quicker. Three pitches for three out. And here is Dylan Moore. Hard hit left side. The throw to first. Now one gone in the ninth. 
Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand, doesn't it? I'd say you're lying if you say you don't feel a five-game losing streak. This W definitely helps them relax a little bit and take some of the pressure off from it going to a six, seven, or even an eight-game losing streak. The final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals, 10 runs, 13 hits. No And now it's Julio Rodriguez it. singing. You got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Two out, spaces empty. Hit hard on the ground is short. And That is the inning. Mariners are down in order. And now the Nats get their first opportunity. There's no score. Back after this on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a big power threat. Jerome Ratto. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Castillo back to work. Right side. On to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. And here's the first baseman, Vinny Pasquantino. Grounder might be two. Goes to second for one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One run on two base hits. No errors, no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the M's five and the Nationals nothing. Hey, come on now. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, Jerome Ratto. Jerome. Castillo back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Ratto in his second season, just 19 years old. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. And that is Springer. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. The bat, the designated hitter. New inning getting started. Here's the Mariners' leadoff Lead man, off number Harris. 13. Okay, the third base is number 13, Michael Garcia. Garcia. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first base. Warning track, wall, and you can touch them all, baseball man. A massive home run. That's his third home run of the series, and they're chipping away. It's 5-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Nationals, Jerome Ratto. He's already homered in this game. At a swing and a line drive at a right field. He makes the grab. Runner tags for home. Throw home. Not 
in time the run scores. It's 7-4. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the Ratto made a big contribution despite the loss. Just one hit, but it did leave the yard. I'll tell you, I was excited every time he came up. Even though he couldn't lift them to a win, he really made an impact. Great job in this one. Our, Our final, final line score this afternoon. First, first for the, the victorious Seattle, Seattle Mariners. Mariners. Seven, seven runs, runs on, on ten, ten hits. hits. One error, they left nine, nine runners, runners on base. base. For the, for the Nationals, Nationals four, four runs, runs on, on five, five hits. hits. One error, they, they left three runners, runners on base. base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 30 minutes. Jerome Ratto digging in for the Nationals. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. Out of here! That's his fourth home run of the series. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. That's his third straight game with a homer singing. This dude is on fire, Boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull him. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. And now up for Washington, Jerome Ratto. Ratto. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes a nice running catch. Man in scoring position with two away. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. Jorge Polanco. Bounced up the middle. Over to first. And that is the inning. Now, now batting, batting. shortstop, Jerome Reto. That fly now. This one is blasted. A no doubter. Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to their lead. It's 8-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Chris, this one got out of here quickly. Let's take another look with the help of StatCast. Yeah, just a laser of a home run. 113 miles per hour off the bat. But, you know, it wasn't a towering shot by any stretch. And it didn't need to be. That thing was torqued. All right, we go to the... Top half of inning number six. In now is the Mariners' DH, Ty France. On the ground. Gets it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind. Up next, Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, Jerome Ratto. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit, and he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. And there's a hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Didn't try to do too much with it, just to really control. Now yeah, the batter now, Jerome Ratto. Jerome Ratto. Line drive, base hit right center field. In comes the runner from third. Our score now 13-4. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. So these players just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You got another team coming in. And you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push it a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well. And these players, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark.
And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Washington Nationals. Back in Washington, D.C. Now at the plate, Jerome Ratto. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. His 12th of the season, and the Nats have the lead. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Booth. Aggressive, and it paid off. Versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Now battle. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! Another homer, his second home run of the game, it's 8-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog, we knew it wasn't coming back. Well, the intentional walk definitely backfired on him right there. And they thought they were setting themselves up for a better situation, but when you're coming to the plate in that spot, there's nothing you want to do more than make them regret. Now that that's your stop. Euro. Reddo. And that one is lifted in the air. Pena pulls it down, and there's two gone. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 now minutes of balls the in the gaps. They practice yeah. this, and when the game comes, they make the... Now so first and second with two outs. Jerome Ratto digging in for the Nationals. That one is absolutely belted. And that ball is out of here. And he's gone yard again. That's his third home run of the game. It's 14-1. Zingy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. quite the show at the dish here in this one and he's just so locked in with this swing and he's just not on to the bottom of the eighth the batter will be the shortstop Jerome Ratto the wind in the pitch hard grounder into the outfield for a knock so a runner aboard to start the inning 
Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling when you're in your own ballpark, you're sleeping in your own bed, you're eating your clubhouse manager's food, everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. Time was the ball game. Three hours and 59 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Back here in Nationals Park, bottom of the now. inning. And now That's here is Rada. Jerome Rado. He is Rado. quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Soroka back to work. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! Massive home run. That's his fourth home run of the series. And they close the gap. It's 5-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it now okay, Jero. hard on the ground to first he takes it on his own they limit the damage here one run in the inning but they leave two three innings complete it's the White Sox one out now, one Runner out. on at now first with out. one gone. Colson Montgomery steps to the plate for the White Sox. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So they make short work of them there. And midway in the fourth, it's the White Sox five and the Nationals two. And we're back. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Out to short. Tosses across yeah. the first. Yeah. One up, one down. Rico Pena steps to the plate for the White Sox. Bounce to the left side. Rado. Wide throw, and it gets away. Throw is high and over his head. Well, every double play turn start. Now that is shortstop. Zero. Zero. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Out of here. A home run off the foul pole. Off the bat, it looked like it had plenty of distance, but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair. I mean, he really hooked that thing down the right field line. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jerome Ratto. Swing and a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front. 
Now it's the shortstop, Colson Montgomery. Montgomery. Kicks and fires. On the ground, left side, six, four, three. And they turn the double play. Got what he was looking for. Ratto. Certainly not the reason they lost this game. Cracked a pair of homers. Such a tremendous effort at the dash. They didn't get the win, but he certainly wasn't the reason they lost. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious White Sox. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 13 runners. Here's Aloy Jimenez. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to second for one. Over to first, safe. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard Jerome Ratto digging in for the Nationals. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. That one ripped. Brings it in for the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's going to be Jerome Ratto. The pitch. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Well struck right field. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Coming home. He scores, it's 4-1. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Top of inning number seven, Andrew Vaughn now. Out to short. In there yeah. safely. Late in the game with the offense trying to play catch up. They're looking for any momentum they can get. Any kind of opportunity to get back in this game. And an error. So two away with nobody on. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jerome Ratto. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that one is off the wall. Around second now, going for three. And this is going to be a two-out triple. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed him over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some hostile territory, you want to have And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Colorado Rockies. Here's a big that power ball. threat. Jerome Ratto. He Jerome. is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football. You feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And 
And that one pulled foul. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. His 17th of the year. The Nationals strike first. It's 2 nothing. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest late. So in now for Colorado, Jose Torres. Jose Torres. Out to short. Rado. Gathers and throws to first. Then there's two away. Batting third. The right fielder. No Now it's Brendan Rodgers. The second baseman. Rodgers, a former gold glove winner, 28 years old. A former first round pick back in 2015. The Nets leading by two, bottom half of inning number two. Bounce to the left side, Ratto. Throw to first yeah. is in time. Well, but we talk about how the ball is coming out that of the action. pitcher's hand. The, the way it comes field. out of his hand as an infielder. Now that the shortstop. Zero. Ratto. This one is blasted. A no-doubter. Grand slam. He powers that one out of here. His second home run of the game, and they add to their lead. It's 6-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Ratto measures five feet, eight inches, 210 pounds, and he's the former rookie of the year. Lace to right center base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Now First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now Next for Colorado, the Jose Torres. Jose. Lead off man on. It's time to play a little small ball. Get some base runners. Try to dig yourself out of the hole. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground, and it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. He needed out one. It's been a tough one. And now up for Washington, Jerome Ratto. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dish. Ripped on a line. Hauls it in to end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the center fielder. The Rockies trailing by three. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Out to short. Ratto. Zips it to first. Just got him. And he was burning up the baseline. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little more. He closes out his 50th career save, so that one has a little extra meaning to it. You don't collect this many saves by accident. Another job well done. The final line. Thank mm -hmm. you.